And the top picks this week are uh, a pair of studies in the New England Journal studying a new agent for pulmonary arterial hypertension. Um, this is an agent called Rio Siguat, um, which is a, a class of agents that uh, is a soluble guanolate cyclase stimulator. Now, this involves the nitric oxide pathway, which is involved in pulmonary hypertension, um, where uh, impaired nitric oxide release is part of the pathogenesis. Uh, this agent um, increases uh, cyclic uh, GMP and thereby increases nitric oxide and has both vasodilatory and antiproliferative effects in the pulmonary vasculature. Now, published uh, this week are two studies, one in um, group one pulmonary hypertension, which is uh, sort of the standard pulmonary hypertension, but a second one in group four, which is due to chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension. And so the first study, the uh, patent one study, had 443 patients randomized to two different dosing strategies, but the higher dosing strategy against placebo, either on the background uh, therapy that patients were receiving, uh, or some patients were new to uh, therapies, and so not on other background therapies. What was seen was a significant improvement in essentially all the parameters. The six-minute walk test uh, increased by 36 meters, a uh, highly significant difference, but also differences seen in um, pulmonary vascular resistance as measured, um, NT-PRO BNP, and the functional class. And so this was seen in patients not on prior therapy or those on other therapies. And so a, a nice consistent finding of this agent. In the second study, the CHEST-1 study, there were 261 patients. Um, and again, the same improvements were seen, this time a 46-meter uh, increase in um, uh, the six-minute walk test, but similar improvements in pulmonary vascular resistance and, and anti-pro BNP. And this is something where there's an, uh, one of the new indications for this chronic thromboembolism indication. And so an exciting new class of drugs will be reviewed uh, by FDA, uh, but something that we all need to pay attention to to be added to the armamentarium for pulmonary hypertension. So for Cardiosaurus News, I'm Chris Cannon.